The 19th Amendment, the most important amendment in U.S. history, ensured women were allowed to vote. A suffragist by the name of Susan B. Anthony was one of the most important suffragists of her time. When Susan was young, her family was part of the anti-slavery movement. Susan started being a woman's activist in 1845 during her time as a teacher when she realized women teachers only made $2.50 versus male teachers who got $10. Susan really sparked an interest in women's rights when she met Elizabeth Cady Stanton. At the 1856 National Women's Rights Convention, Anthony spoke about women's rights. In 1869, Elizabeth and Susan, with the help of others, created the National Women's Suffrage Association. In some of their earlier efforts, Anthony and her sisters voted in the 1872 election, causing them to be arrested and tried. This caused her to be charged with a $100 fine which she refused to pay. Unfortunately, the judge did not sentence her to appeal, so she was not able to present her case in front of Supreme Court. From 1881 to 1885, Stanton and Anthony teamed up together to write History of Women's Suffrage. Alice Paul was born on January 11, 1885. As a child, Alice was encouraged to go to college and do whatever boys could do. Her mother used to bring her to women's suffrage meetings where she would listen in. Alice attended Swarthmore, the same college her mother attended, where she studied politics. Alice got the chance to study at another Quaker school in England, so she decided to go. When Alice met Christabel Pankhurst, they decided to team together and start a movement. The women had a women's suffrage parade. They were willing to go to jail if it meant helping the cause. Alice personally was sent to jail three times but arrested ten times. News had traveled from England, so when Alice returned to America, she was asked to be one of the leaders of the National American Woman Suffrage Association. In 1916, Alice created the National Woman's Party. When the woman decided to picket outside of the White House, they were arrested undergrounds of blocking traffic and charged with seven months in jail. Suffragists were treated badly in jail. Alice decided to starve herself for three weeks due to not being able to talk to people from outside. The suffragists were let out after only one month of their seven months. On January 9, 1918, President Wilson decided to support women's suffrage. 17 suffrage. months later, on August 26, 1920, the 19th Amendment was made a law.